Sean in HD video fame is the platform. How you doing? This is Biggie's block, right? Biggie Small, notorious B.I.G. block. Fat, fat boy. Yeah. Fat chubby kid. Yeah. Black boy like me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. You seen his mom lately? No. She don't come. Is she where she live now? Florida. Okay. All right. He said fat like me. <laughs> Yo, guys, don't worry. I'm gonna lose the weight, man. But we here, you know, me grinding like this, it's gonna help me lose the weight, right? This is Biggie Small's block. And uh, we are back. That was one of the elders, you know. And uh, we are gonna go because unbeknownst to you guys, we got an update on the fact that Gene Deal spoke to Biggie's mom and um, they're about to drop some bombs. They're about to drop some info right here, Notorious B.I.G. building. You know what I'm saying? We are back. You know what I mean? Hold up. Let me put my bag here. Let me talk to y'all, the people. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Yes, 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 people. Sean in HD. We're in front of a legendary location right now. This is legendary grounds. Hold up, let me show y'all. These are the actual steps. These are the actual steps. Okay, the actual steps right here. These are the actual steps that B.I.G. walked upon. This is Biggie Small's block. Biggie Smalls and we do have an update we do know that Jean Deal spoke to Miss Wallace on the phone and she is basically backing Jean she's telling Jean do not let it go stay on his neck because he is responsible for her child's passing absolutely I believe that from day one we all said what the hell you taking Biggie to LA in the first place in the heat of the moment. Let me give you guys an example of what I mean, what Sean and HD mean, what he's talking about. So you're about to go to the store and your mother stop you. She said, where you going? Oh, I'm going to the store. Which store? The store up the hill. No, you're not going to the store up the hill because there was a shooting there last night. Let it cool down. Go to the store down the hill for now until things cool down. Because there was just a situation up the hill. Cool. Don't that make sense? All right. So we know there was a situation in L.A. Pac got hit. L.A. dudes is mad. West Coast is upset. Okay. Puff is like, nah, we going out there. Why? Why? The most logical thing to say and do is hold up. Let wait things to cool down. Then if we choose to go out there for promo runs, because it makes sense to do radio and promote the album. Fine, we'll do that. But we ain't going right now. So why did he take him out there? And the reason why he took him out there is simple. He had to bring him. Put him in the kill shot. That's exactly what happened. Now I done broke this thing down. And we done broke this thing down. And we put it together. You know what I'm saying? New neighbors. And what we know is this. What we know is. Big one out there. He didn't even want to party. He didn't want to go nowhere. But Puff knew. Did he knew? I got to take him to that party because that's where the hit gonna go down you understand me took him to the party they go down now they're about to leave what he did was see gene was gonna ride with big and they said nah you ain't riding with him gene you riding with me because puff knew i gotta take his protection away i gotta take his defense away oh snap mm -hmm. what's going on man he told gene gene you riding with me Gene said, no, I'm riding with Big. Puff said, no, you riding with me because he knew what he was doing. 
He knew he had to take him in his car, take away the defense, take away his protection, leave him naked in the car. When I say naked, I mean, because I know we're talking about Puff right now. When I say naked, I mean take away his defense. All right? Take away his defense. And he told Gene, Gene, if you don't ride with me, if you don't get in this car, I'm going to fire you. Gene go in the car with Puff, and Gene told the driver of that car, run the light, because that's what you do, even when we leave the club. Listen, when we leave the club, and we it's multiple cars, we not stopping at the light. We, we, we running through that. They knew that's protocol. And Biggie's driver of his car stopped at the light, and the driver's just sitting right there. As if you got a trap, and he drove right into it because his driver stopped right there by where the shooter was. All, all the shooter had to do was stick his hand out the car and let it go. Imagine imagine the car was parked right there by the light. That, uh, and, and, and it probably don't have nothing to do with me. There was arterial motives that, they was, that took big to that party, bro. You understand? There were other motives that took big to that party. To let him not be in here today. Is there any way they can get Diddy for Biggie's murder? So if he had run the light, it, he would have been alive. But his vehicle stopped right next to the park car. Can you believe that? And they let it go. They let it go on him. But, you know, we could take a look, you know, more of the building. You know what I'm saying? Remember the movie Biggie went on the roof? That's the roof right there. You know what I'm saying? Get up. This is, this is, you know, the block view, you know what I mean? And like I said, we, Miss Wallace reached out to Gene Deal, you know what I'm saying? Miss Wallace reached out to Gene Deal and um, they in communication and she told Gene, look, don't let up, keep your foot on his neck, expose him. He's responsible for the passing and it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. The whole truth gonna come out. I know she's a she's an elder. You know, you know Miss Wallace is up there in age now, but she ain't playing no games, and she can still talk. She's still articulate. She still remembers stuff. And um, Gene is gonna come out and I guess explain the phone call some more, and uh, go into details. I heard a little bit of it. I heard a little snippet of it, where she's telling Gene. Look, he did this to my son. Get him. Get him. Because it ain't right, man. It's, it's, you know what? There's a video of Puff and, they, and the reporter asks him, so, so, so tell us what happened, man. Tell us what happened. And Puff start to say his nonsense. But, here's, but here's, the, here's the devil. Here's the devilish part. This dude been a devil even back then. I'm, I'm going to see if I can plug the video in. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't have rights to it, but I'ma see. And then when you watch the interview, Puff gonna lie and say, uh, he, the, the man asked him, did Biggie say anything to you before he passed? And, you know, he was hunched over. And I was just there, I was talking to him. And the security officer that was driving my vehicle, I told him to just jump in his vehicle. Let's just try to rush him to the hospital. And that's what we did. Do you remember the last thing that you said to him or he said to you? Yeah. I mean, he was just basically saying, like, he couldn't wait um, for his album to come back, come out. That, you know, he was just happy that he had finished it. And um, he was just like, I just can't wait till my album comes out. And he said, yeah. Yeah, I, I, he said, he said, man, I hope the album do good. You telling me the last words of, a, of this kid after being shot is about the damn album? Puff, you a liar. The album, son? No, he might say, yo, my mom or, or, or I don't want to die. Or he might say, damn, man. They got me something like that, but but for him to worry about the album set, yo, listen, man, 
Sean and HD, man, we in BK, we on Biggie's block, we back here. You can't just pull up on this block, you know? But um, I already established some relationships last time from a few of the older heads, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's warranted, and this was an update and what you guys think, man? Did you got? Do you think that Diddy lined up big? Put a one in the comment. If you think now nah, we speculating is Fugaga, put a two in the comment. You know what I mean? Do you think that we really about to reveal the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Put a one in the comment. Let's see, because at the end of the day, justice must prevail. At the end of the day. Tupac passed away. These guys would have changed the culture. These guys would have took hip hop to out of space. You know what I'm saying? Notice when they fell out, man, the game changed and it got weaker and weaker and weaker. You know what I mean? So we here, man, Sean HD. You know what I'm saying? Yes, everybody. I appreciate all the love, man. And it's good to come to the source. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? Let's this is Biggie's doors right here you know what i mean you know what i'm saying 226 you know what i'm saying yes sir yes sir the very block this is the very block that big walked on strolled on I'll make y'all take a look you know what i'm saying sean in hd we know we know that we know what that guy did man we know that guy is, is foul, man. And I believe even Faith Evans know what's going on. I think even Kim know the truth. Even Little C's know the truth. You know what I mean? But you know what? They they want money, so they willing to dance with the devil. You know what I mean? Yeah. They want money, so they willing to dance with the devil. You know what I mean? Young Christopher Wallace, he look like CJ a little bit. He do look like his son. He do look like his son a little bit. Look at that, look at the innocent. You know, you young, you so innocent. And then life, life may corrupt you or take you down some roads, you know what I'm saying? As you get older, but remember, this is the store that his friend got shot in. Remember, Biggie's best friend got shot right here in the store. You remember, what I'm saying? remember that? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. This was a corner big hustled on. The payphone used to be over there. But we here, man. You know, it's an unfortunate situation. You know, Biggie wasn't an angel, but he didn't deserve that. To be lined up and taken out like that. Like sheep to the slaughterhouse. That, uh, and, and, and it probably don't have nothing to do with me. There was arterial motives that they was that took big to that party, bro. You understand? There were other motives that took big to that party that led him not being here today. Is there any way they can get Diddy for Biggie's murder? Diddy, you got blood on your hands. Blood on your hands, my man. R.I.P. Tupac as well. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We on the corner where Biggie hustled on. Sean in HD, man. We in Biggie Small's neighborhood. You know, I just had some breakfast in the in the uh, restaurant. Puffy trying to get out of that prison. The jail he's in, actually, it's not a prison, it's a jail. He's trying to get out. And, uh, damn. <laughs> imagine, he's still in there. <laughs> damn. Can you imagine if somebody was to say, did he gonna be in jail? Eating prison food, eating dry cereal. You know what I'm saying? Would you have believed it? I wouldn't believe it. Boy, Brooklyn has changed. Look at look at Brooklyn, yeah. Look at look at Bed Stuy. That's new Brooklyn right there. What well, we here, Sean and HD. Can't stop, we won't stop. Video Fame is the platform.